soon as I got to the accident site, I saw a car that went off the road and hit a tree. We have been one hour in the traffic, so people were trying to pull out the unconscious driver out of the car. I helped them pull out and then laid him on the ground before the ambulance took him to the nearest hospital. According to World Health Organization, nearly half of those who die on the world roads are vulnerable road users, pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. There are four types of brain injuries, concussion, contusion, gall fracture, internal hematoma. These are some of the things you can do when you encounter someone with brain injury. CPR, see this presentation to learn about cardiorespiratory resuscitation, bleeding, apply direct pressure on the cut or wound with a clean cloth, tissue or piece of gaze until bleeding stops. Head care, keep the head in line with the spine and prevent movement. Wait for medical help. Seizure, if you are with someone with convulsion, try to stay calm and remain with the person. If they have food or fluid in the mouth, roll them on their side immediately. Keep them safe and protect them from injury. Treatment, brain injury from trauma result from two distinct processes. One, primary brain injury. This occurs at the time of the trauma. It can be cortical contusions, lacerations, brain fragmentation, diffuse axonal injury, and brainstem contusion. Then you have secondary injury. This develops subsequent to the initial injury. It includes injury from intracranial hematoma, edema, hypoxemia, ischemia, ischemia, etc. Since impact damage cannot be influenced by treating the resurgence, intense interest has been focused on reducing secondary injuries which requires good general medical care and an understanding of intracranial pressure. When you see someone with mild brain injury, the person should follow the following recommendations in the next 24 hours. Number one, relative rest at home. Number two, the person taking care of this patient should assess whether he speaks well and whether he can move his arms and legs normally, at least for the next 24 hours. Number three, you can ingest liquids and solids in small amounts. Number four, if you take any previous treatment, consult your doctor. It is normal for a mild headache to appear, which may last up to 24 to 48 hours. Number six, apply eyes to the trauma without direct contact with the skin. Meanwhile, you should go to the emergency department if you have any of these symptoms. Severe persistent headache, which does not go out with painkillers. Sudden or persistent vomiting. Abnormal tendency to sleep or difficulty waking up. Inequality in the size of the pupils. Loss of consciousness, confusion or disorientation. Difficulty speaking or expressing oneself, progressive balance disorders, double or blood vision, loss of strength or mobility in any limb, seizures or convulsions, appearance of blood, watery liquid from the nose, 